New information is coming out now about the months leading up to that deadly mass shooting in Lewiston, Maine. And actually earlier this morning, an independent commission created to review the facts surrounding the events heard testimony from Army personnel who served alongside the gunman who was a forming armor reservist. We're talking about Robert Card here. Let's go to NBC 10's Manash Pongari, live for us in the newsroom. Manash, you listened to that hearing. Uh, what can you tell us? Well, it was an eye-opening session this morning. The Army members questioned were on the gunman's Army Reserve unit. You just mentioned it. Some claiming to actually know Card on a personal level for years. And this morning, they told the commission that on multiple occasions, they tried to sound the alarm about his mental health, reporting to military police and even local police in New York while on a mission that Card was displaying erratic behavior and paranoia as he kept stating that he was, quote, hearing others badmouth him behind his back and that he was capable of violence. Now, Card ended up shooting and killing 18 people on October 25th. The commission was created by Maine Governor Janet Mills less than a week after that massacre to find an answer as to how these multiple warnings were missed. As much as no one is going to admit, there is a very political component to this, and that in itself creates a roadblock to real solutions. From an actual boots on the ground first responder, the communication was poor and caused several issues. If you want to know what went wrong on the ground, ask the men and women that were on the ground. Explosive testimony there. Now, this session comes just one day after Boston University researchers released a study showing there's evidence that Card had a traumatic brain injury, stating that brain injury likely played a role in his behavioral changes leading up to the incident, but was not the underlying cause of the tragedy. Now, it should be noted the report revealed Card had no evidence of CTE. The commission this week also spoke to victims and survivors of the shooting on Monday. They're expected to put all of their findings in a comprehensive report that they will then present to the Maine governor next month. Right now, though, we're live here in the newsroom. Manash Kungwari, NBC10 Boston.